So we are back with another episode. We're going to talk about games today, what we're playing very briefly. Then we get into our topic today. We're talking about game industry and development and how things have changed since we were kids in the 80s to now. And again, none of us are game developers. We might know people who are in game development, but we've all I would say pretty fairly well read and respectively Europe, Canada, America, Taiwan, that sort of stuff. So we'll be able to give you some at least historical insight into what's going on. Antoine's made a, a lot of very good points, and I think it's. But I think I mean, what do you guys think about this? But like, we're we're older. Is the fact is that you know a lot of kids, right? Especially Antoine has kids. Adam has taught thousands of kids in the last almost decade and a half. Um, so it's not necessary, right? Somebody can like Antoine's son could become a programmer for five years and make games and he could just change after that right is is it so net is it so bad that kids would want to be game devs and then maybe they realize it and then change is, is that a bad thing i mean antoine as a father if, if your son became a programmer and a game dev for five years and then changed industries would that make you unhappy or worried or stressed out and i mean of adam as, as an uncle as well you have nieces and nephews and how do you that, feel that, like? that's what is used for you know when i started i started in banking I realized I hated it, and that's why I changed. And uh, I'm very happy in my current job. You know, you, you you have to try things out. You know, if again, you know, you need to get experience. And I don't know how it works, but if you arrive in a private company for developing whatever program, I don't know. But and on your CV, you have five years of Ubisoft Montreal. So guys are gonna be, hey, he went through the he went through the battlefield. This guy must have. <laughs> A lot of will. I'm gonna hire him. I don't know. Maybe that could be an advantage. You know, you say the guy know what it is to have crunch time and uh, tough competition and stuff like this. Maybe it's very good for his future career. So why not? I mean, that must be a, certainly a good thing. I don't know. Maybe uh, Adam, you are maybe closer to this uh, industry than me. Uh, what do you think? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's. I mean, that's part of the reason why I became a. Uh... Or that's part of the reason why I studied computer science is because I always wanted to make video games. That was always the goal. That was, that was the idea. But like I said, my professors were always telling us, you know, if you any any tech industry kind of thing, you're going to be doing that. But I think also too, when people think about making games, they're always thinking like, I'm going to be the director, you know, and you're not. You're going to be the programmer. You're going to be the little grunt worker, little sweatshop guy, right? And and you're going to have to work <laughs> your way up. But one thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is if you're doing like an indie thing that's fine like the guy who does i, I don't know his name but the one who does uh star stardew valley eric Barum. okay or uh mojang the guy who did uh minecraft you know if you're doing your own project you can do kind of whatever you want but if you're looking at these big triple a studios like say uh nintendo or sony or, or square i mean miyazaki is still at Nintendo and he's the guy who created Mario. That was back in what, the late eighties, early nineties. I mean, this guy's been doing it for 30, 40 years and he's still in the same position. You're not getting that position. You know what I mean? Like just to, I mean, cause these guys got in on the ground floor and they don't want to give up their positions basically as long as they're alive. If you look at Final Fantasy, most of the Final Fantasy games are still directed by the same guys that were there directing Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy VII in the mid '90s, you know, and it's 25 years later, and nobody else has kind of risen, or very few people have risen to that position. I think Yoshi P from Final Fantasy XIV is a newer face, but you know, the, the odds of getting to that position are really unlikely. Not even just because you know, even if you say I work hard, it's just because somebody else has to give up their position for you to to take it. Otherwise, you have to create a position and, and do an indie studio. So I think for most people, if they want to do game development, it, it's better to do an indie thing for a couple of reasons. I mean, one, you can kind of design it the way you want it. 
Two, you can kind of do it on your own time and you can have another job at the same time. It's going to take longer to get your stuff out there, but you're going to be a lot happier for it. You're going to have a lot more fun with it. Um, and yeah, you, you don't, and like Antoine said, there's a lot of turnover because people just burn out all the time. Uh, beta testing, I've heard, is just awful because people think, oh, it's fun. I get to play video games. And it's like, no, there, there's a rock and you need to jump on this rock 50 different ways from every possible <laughs> angle, you know? So you have to like slide, jump into the rock, slide into the rock, jump and then slide on the rock, you know, and, and then and then rotate 20, you know, 15 degrees, try again. And it's just supposed to be mind numbing. And then you have to keep very detailed notes on everything that happens. So I've heard it's really, really hard. And with these bigger games, there's just more going on. So it's just going to be more tedious than it was in like Mario, because Mario is like, jump. Did you jump? Great. It worked. <laughs> you know, it, that doesn't that doesn't fly anymore, uh, which is why games come out really buggy now. I mean, there's just so many things that can go wrong that couldn't have gone wrong before. Uh, but I think now, at least with my students, I've seen a shift where people don't want to make games anymore. Or at least most of the kids don't want to make games anymore. They want to be esports gamers. Mm -hmm. They want to play games and make money playing games. So it used to be, like in, in my generation, the idea was I want to make games. I knew a lot of people that wanted to make games. And now when I look at kids, you know, I'm like, oh, would you like to make a game? They're like, no, 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 I want to, I want to play them. So they would rather be like an esports person. So I think that's kind of taken over the dream of creating but i still think a lot of people do want to create uh but yeah i would recommend maybe starting with small projects and stuff like that yeah okay that's that's a very good point my kid keep saying i want to be a youtuber <laughs> and as a parent i can tell you that it's very tough because i see lots of kids youtuber on it and i'm thinking how I mean, for the parents, it must either be extremely rigorous because they have school and they have to be concentrated at school, you know, if they don't want to fail because you can't base your whole future on being a YouTuber at 10. <laughs> of course not. So he's the richest I, I, YouTuber, uh, a kid, like he's like 13 years old. He does all those like toys. I know, stuff. but that's, yeah, I know, but that's maybe uh, one in a million kids doing this. So. Of course, it's good to leave them a chance, but at this moment, I didn't let him because I'm just too stressed that he start doing this and completely give up on school. And I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> you can do it if you want, but first you get your degree. I'm, I'm really old fashioned. <laughs> like at least if it doesn't work, you have something you can rebound on. I think for kids too, there's a level of maturity that has to be taken into account because you know, like, for instance, we, we did this and I mean, we've been doing it for over a year and I mean, we still don't have that many for subscribers and most of them do come from Phil. Right. But, you know, for a kid, they see YouTube and they're like, oh, my gosh, I'm going to become this next thing. And if they're doing it for, you know, I mean, if they're able to hold on for two months, which I think most kids would probably lose interest in by that True, point. But if they were even able to and they're not getting the things, you know, that could be that could be very depressing for for some children if they're not, you know, mature enough to be able to understand like the odds were always against you you know like they just think like i'll be success and they, they focus so much on how successful they're going to be they don't realize the the odds and and what yeah. it just and devastates. what they don't realize as well is that i i'm very sorry but usually i hate the videos my my kids watch it's just not my generation of, oh look at this ah, well, uh, okay that's stupid but fair enough he likes it and he wants to do the same okay but even if what he did is stupid, do you realize that behind this very stupid, vi uh, silly video, there might be one, two, three hours of editing and putting the different sound background, making sure that the music he used is not uh, not claimed by DMCA or whatever, that blah, 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 that he timed this joke to have this sound effect here. Before doing any video, you need to learn editing. You're 10. You well, I'm not doing, gonna do it for you. <laughs> do you wanna try? Try. In a week, you're gonna be ah no, I don't like it. That's also that's also the, a, a reason. But in a way, isn't that kind of a a reason to let them try? I mean, like for instance, when we were when we were really small, you know, you know, my 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 dad might have a, a beer with dinner or something like that. 
and he doesn't want us to drink. So th- when we're really young, he's like, here, you want to try it? And we're like, okay. And we try it. And we're like, oh, this tastes disgusting. I never want to drink beer again. Right. So then it turns us off to it. So, I mean, wouldn't that be kind of a, a thing where it's like, hey, you know what? Give it a try. And then when they try of it, and they're like, course. I don't like this. And it's like, okay, you don't like it. Let's except, go back to something else. Except that I'm not going to, uh, a beer doesn't worse, you know, the whole gear with microphone and everything. And I'm not letting him use my computer. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. <laughs> so, yeah, if I'm buying $2,000 worth of, uh, you know, like uh, gear, oh, you better be a YouTuber for more than a week. <laughs> I'm going to be behind you. <laughs> So that's why he's not on internet yet, and uh, he might not be for quite a while. He has a an iPad or something, though, right? Yeah, yeah uh, it's uh, compulsory because of uh, COVID and everything. Uh, every kid needs to have a, a tablet to do, uh, you know, Teams uh, stuff. But they must have some sort of editing software for tablets, right? I mean, they, do, they, they do. They do. Possibly, do I have uh, I have no idea about this. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can do your and record your video on. Um, on a tablet, that Just could to be give possible. Him a taste of it. Yeah, sure. I mean, you're a teacher. Can you teach my kids? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have the patience for it. I have to learn it myself first. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that my mom always said too. She she used to teach piano, and then when I when she wanted me to learn piano, she sent me to another teacher. And I was like, "You teach piano? Why don't you just teach me?" And she's like, "Teaching your own kids is different." It's oh, not it's the same. same, right? It's like what you do for Melinda's kid, what uh, yeah. we did for Phoebe's kids as well, right? It's no no teacher what teaches their own kids. That's like the rule. Yeah. 